you can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Green must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? Take him, okay? Take Crane. Well, this is a beautiful relationship we have with you guys. Really, I mean it. Out with the old, in with the new. Long live the queen. Bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. Easy there. Try not to move. We can't keep needing this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? Well, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, Big B, don't move it. Doctor. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment. But if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. do I suppose he's lucky to be alive and he won't be next time if he keeps going like this he didn't listen to me before maybe he'll listen to you I don't know about that well he should there are limits to what even I can do it's not like I asked for this shit to happen yes but it's not like you actively discouraged it either <sighs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay, at least until he's out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands, and I need the space to work, so... Don't worry, Snow. I'll be okay. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Cause I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. 
Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care of my friend. W with what? Your hooves? Could you please not distract the doctor while he has my chest cut open? Yes, that would be helpful. <sighs> there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to, having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been... an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. Snow has enough to deal with, Swinehart. I can take care of myself. Clearly. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin. Swiney? So, how do you, um, feel? It's Bigby, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I've seen him take worse. Not much worse. Not as good as can be expected, I think. So, not well then. I'm glad you're not dead. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know. When you passed out, or... Or... Died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. And when Swinehart arrived, you know him, he's never worried. And even he thought you were... Um, pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. <sighs> Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is Crane still the thing? Snow's the boss. She'll know what's best for the community. Thanks. The Crooked Man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder... Yeah, uh... Thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the Crooked Man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? We're all mad about it, Colin. You weren't there, Colin. So just drop it. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is... Just what does the Crooked Man want out of this? I thought he was just a... Lone Shark. But clearly, he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? And Faith? I don't know how it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. 
At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like your way. Bigby's the one on the front lines. Yeah, wait, what do you mean? What is this right way? We haven't been doing a good job. You and I. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried, by the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice, then that would mean I'd lost all faith in our ability to help this town. Just let that side of you be done, okay? I'll do better. We'll do better. We have to be better than them, or what's the point? Right, exactly. Thank you. Look, I'm sorry that I have to bring all this up, but I think it's important. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Relax, Colin. I can speak for myself, okay? He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that... Now that I'm deputy mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay at the oh, farm. Oh, give me a fucking break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. It keeps everybody out of trouble. And what if a Mundy does see me, huh? I'm a pig, not a mouse with a hat and a cane. They know what a pig is. It's not the end of the world. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an impossible rule to enforce, Snow. You really expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Nerissa. Nerissa? That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. And what do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here, right? Look, uh, maybe a few will get sent up, but you're my friend, Colin. I wouldn't do that to you. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby.
Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um, are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. I'm fine. Don't worry about me. <coughs> Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me to the open arms. And I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell Crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Nah. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... might work. Is there more to this business with Crane? You gave me the key to room 204. You put me on to Crane. Is there something I'm missing here? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own, grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way, but now they're gone, and I don't know what to do. Is this making any sense? I'm sorry, but is this going somewhere? <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know I want to help, but... But... It's okay. Take your time. I'm... sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It was... It is beautiful. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! These lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's alright. I'm not gonna do anything. Please, don't. <sighs> okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off...
If anyone finds out I came here. That's probably Snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of... trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I'm gonna have to tell Snow. She has to know about the ribbons. If you have to, just don't tell anyone else. Sorry, I just need to talk to the Sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Beauty and Beast called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Hey, wait, you don't have to go. That was... abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She couldn't really say anything. The magic that Crane was talking about, it's in the ribbon. And you can't take the ribbon off, or... It's how Faith and Lily died. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast, do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night, and they're scared about what's been going on? Well, whatever it is, I'm sure they called for a reason. Suppose I better go check it out. Hmm. You know, Beauty came to me a while back. She was looking for financial assistance. I told her there was nothing I could do, and... and she said that meant she'd have to go somewhere else. Bigby, you don't think she meant that she was going to go to the Crooked Man, do you? That would explain why they called. We need to solve this before something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. Oh. What do you want? Well, you're just going around knocking on doors? You called, right? Or, uh, was it Beauty? Why would I call you? Listen, I've had a shitty night. Do you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been Beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I...? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? You don't want to talk. Can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Big B. Hi, Big B. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What is he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast! I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then you run and call him again? Well, I trust him. Of course you do. He was keeping secrets for you. It was one little thing. Do you 
Wanna keep fighting hmm. about that? Talk about living in the past. This out. All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. You didn't have to bring him here. We're out of money and answers. That's why I called. We'll finish this later, but we need to talk to Bigby. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Did you come to give us decorating tips? You've lived here a long time, and you've never called me over. So what's this about? Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate I things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. I'd like to help you, but I can't do anything if you don't tell me what's going on. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk, and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain... assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn, and we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... Um, let me just, uh... A day at the beach? Skiing the slopes? <laughs> can we finish this we conversation first? I right should now, get so that. Leave a Come message on. at the beep and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> <laughs> Humanly possible. Beep! That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. All I care about is, how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Did you ever see the Crooked Man there? When you got your loan? Or just shopping? No, never. But, come on, it's his place. And the Jersey Devil never lets you forget it. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's Axe last night, trying to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe 
maybe I can make enough noise that the crooked man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the crooked man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. But when I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She, uh, gets under my skin, you know? I, I try to avoid her. But I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. I don't need to understand. It's not my fucking job to understand. My job is to keep Fable Town safe. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. I'm going to the Lucky Pond. Too much going on there to ignore. I'll have a word or two with Jersey. You know, Bigby, once you show your face there, word is going to get out. There may be nothing left to see if you go to the butcher shop after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well... Maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. What do you say? Can you help us out? I don't go around fixing debts. Lucky for you, what I am going to do might just fix it anyway. Just keep us in mind, please. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. 